Take salad means different things to different people. I'm used to having french fries on mine today. We're going to not do that. We're going to do a nice Tex-Mex approach. So I've got my steak in the pan already. It's a, about a uh, half pound sirloin steak. I've seasoned it with salt, pepper, some garlic, and some chili powder to give it that Tex-Mex flavor. Now you want to sear it for about three minutes on each side. I'll go over how you tell when it's done in just a minute. In the meantime, let's get our salad started. So I got a nice big plate. We've got some romaine lettuce. Now you can choose any lettuce of your choosing. Don't just choose romaine. It's just what I prefer. Okay. So we have our nice plate of romaine. I'm going to set that off to the side. Now we're going to do a little bit of cutting. So since my dressing is avocado based, I'm going to add some more avocado. So we'll just do some nice slices put around the edges. Now there's literally nothing worse than a overripe or underripe avocado. So how you tell is you can, the little tip that's on there, it should still be a little bit green and a little soft to touch when you're choosing an avocado at the store. I also got a hard boiled egg that we're going to quarter. And if you don't like egg, don't worry, you don't have to put it on there either. Really with this salad, you can put whatever toppings are most interesting to you. Now I'm gonna give a nice little tip on how to cut an onion now. So this is, what, what are you ooing over there? Well, I just learned a little trick how to cut an onion okay. properly. So you have the uh, bulb side that has all the little sprouts on it and then you have the other side. You cut the end of that and then you cut it in half so the bulb is still attached here. Then you're going to make some nice slices all the way across. And then you just nice and little right there and it comes out evenly and perfect and it stays attached and easy to cut because that head of the bulb is still there. So we're going to go ahead and sprinkle that. In the meantime, I'm going to check my steak. So to how to tell if your steak is done is depending on how you like it. I like mine medium rare. I know Joe likes his a little bit more medium. Medium so rare is fine. Okay, so you'll make an okay, and you'll feel that little chunk of meat on your hand right there. That's how you know it's medium rare. Put your middle finger down, that's a little bit more medium. Your ring finger, it's going to be medium well, and your pinky is going to be well done. I'm at about a medium rare right now, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off of there because you always want your steak to rest just a little bit. You can see I got some nice char on there from my seasonings. Okay, now let's go ahead and add some tomato. I'm just going to quarter those as well while that steak is resting. Okay, and Joe, uh, while I'm doing this, do you want to give that dressing a try that I'm very excited I for thought, you to give it a go? I thought you would never ask. I'm standing here like... All right. This How is, is it? It smells like salad. Okay, well, we're putting it on salad, so that like helps. I don't like salad, so we'll see. <laughs> oh, man. Nope. No, no. Nope. I'm not nope. going to be offended because nope. you don't nope. like uh, avocados. Nope. So I'm not around. offended. Nope. Absolutely not. Nope, that's okay. Oh boy. <laughs> you gonna make it over there? I need some water. All right, that's fine. Sorry. That's okay. I'm not offended at all. But I know you don't I like a, avocado. I have a question about your steak. Sure. So you have a sirloin. I have a sirloin, yes. I've always heard that, you know, you want to keep fat on there, but you didn't have a very fatty steak. I didn't. So what's what's the trick behind that in choosing a steak and what's What's your recommendation? Um, I chose the sirloin just because it's a little bit thinner and easier to cook for television purposes. Um, if I am cooking at home, I pick a ribeye or I'll do a porterhouse because the porterhouse has the New York steak strip on it and then the filet mignon, so you get a little bit of both of best worlds. So there you go. You can see right there, it's a nice medium rare steak. I forgot my cheese, which is really important because you want to put that down before the steak goes on there so it melts a little bit. I am struggling to get this open as I wrap it up, but I want to finish it. All right, here we go. We got the cheese, and then we just put our steak on there. And there you have it, a nice Tex-Mex steak salad.